Welcome back. Those who suffer from sinus problems know the symptoms. Dry mouth, congestion, and trouble sleeping. Treatments include medications or painful surgeries, but our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, has more on a new approach that's letting those with chronic nasal issues breathe easily. This allergy season has been brutal for thousands, but some with chronic sinus issues can't find any relief. Nasal sprays, um, antibiotics often on, um, allergy pills. Um, I even at one point went through allergy shots. Linda didn't have allergies. Her problem is the shape of her nasal cavity, and she's not alone. Tens of millions of Americans suffer sinus pain and inflammation due to nasal obstructions, a condition that traditionally takes surgery to fix. But experts are studying a non-invasive procedure that can impact airflow and improve symptoms like chronic congestion, fatigue, and difficulty breathing. This is a great procedure for people who who uh, have a narrow nasal valve or nasal valve collapse. Also people who don't have significant septal deviation or other issues that's causing the nasal obstruction. Instead of painful surgery to remove bone or tissue, the obstructions are gently reduced through a wand that targets energy toward the affected tissue. No anesthesia, no long recovery. The procedure is done in the office. It only takes a few minutes to perform and patients can actually leave the office and go back to work or get on with their daily activities. By using a computer simulation of airflow through the nasal passage, doctors measure how a little change in physical structure can make a big difference in the way a patient breathes. Results that have allowed Linda to finally get outside and enjoy the season. And unlike traditional treatment options such as medication or breathing strips, these results are permanent. And the FDA recently approved the new non-invasive procedure, so it should soon be available here. Talk to your doctor if you think you might be a candidate. In the newsroom, Monica Robbins, Channel 3 News. Thank you, Monica.